first became interested in motorcycling when I was uh, very young. Uh, I think Steve McQueen, The Great Escape. I mean, my dad was a big fan of Steve McQueen. As I was growing up, uh, particularly British motorcycles seemed to be the ones to ride. Just uh, all the cool guys rode triumphs. I discovered the Rockers in the late 80s, and when I heard about a Rockers reunion in London, that was something that I definitely wanted to go to. And I went to the Chelsea Bridge Rockers reunion, and at that point I was like, wow, this is a great scene. It'd be great to try and recreate this in the U.S. Larry brought the ahead-of-its-time idea across the pond, secured a space, and he set out to build his dream. The Ace Cafe Chicago um, opened in 1997, and shortly after I opened it, um, we started a, a Chicago chapter of the 59 Club out of London, and uh, as a way, you know, to bring guys together, you know, like-minded individuals, rockers. I was open about a year and a half to two years. Um, it took us about six months to build it, get it open. Um, I had a, a bunch of partners, and I think they had unreasonable expectations, put it that way. And, uh, you know, so I basically left the cafe and they took it over and it closed shortly thereafter, within six months. I think the Ace Cafe in Chicago was ahead of its time uh, at a certain extent because it was more of a micro scene at that point and now it's definitely grown into definitely a larger, um, larger motorcycle population are, are into the cafe racers today. So we've seen a Muslim Rockers event in Dallas. Uh, your event in Chicago, how is it any different? It's the Chicago version. You'll see uh, motorcycles from all over the world. I mean, you'll see modern, vintage, classic, and custom. I mean, you'll see all different kinds of bikes. It's a 75 uh, CB 550 F. It's all custom done from the ground up. I did everything, every nut and bolt, passed through my hands for something. My favorite thing is there's no middle ground. They either really like it or really hate it. And, and I just, I love that. <laughs> I was definitely nervous at first about the spikes. You know, I mean, in some certain spots, a lot of them got removed. Like that one right there. The uh, theme is mods versus rockers, which is you know, how, we, how we built this event but it's really just turned into a huge motorcycle gathering of, of everything, so that's what makes it what it is. This is an Aramaki Chimera, made in Italy by a company that used to make seaplanes. And I actually went to Italy looking for this bike, and it took me three years to find it. It just looked awful, corroded, ratty, but I could see that it had potential to look this good. You're not in a public park or anything or a fairgrounds. You're doing this event right in the middle of a public street. So how do the neighbors feel about a bunch of greasy bikers taking over their neighborhood for an afternoon? Yeah, we're in Lincoln Park in Chicago and we're on Lincoln Avenue and it's in the heart of uh, the north side, not too far from Wrigley Field. And uh, the, the uh, local businesses love it because we bring thousands of people to the street that day. So any trouble between the mods and rockers or is that just sort of on the t-shirt? Well, uh, there's, there's been a few flare-ups lately, you know. You know, we try to keep it down to a dull, a dull roar, but, you know, they still, uh, they still rub us wrong sometimes. <laughs> well, I'll drink to that. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Hey. <laughs>